For this pattern, you will need two skeins of fingering weight yarn, a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, scissors, stitch markers to keep your place or to mark where the decreases are, and tape measure. A little bit about the yarn. Um, you can use any two skeins of the same color fingering weight yarn. For this, I am using Snowflake Sock by the Frosted Stitch in the color Grapes. And I'll put a link below to her website if you're interested in getting some of this beautiful yarn. So I want to speak a little bit about this shawl before we start. This shawl is called the Corinthian Shawl in honor of these pretty linked double treble columns. The shawl uses linked double trebles, double crochets, and half double crochets worked in front and back loops along, which gives it this really, really pretty texture. It's super important that you block this shawl, otherwise the shawl will not open up and you won't be able to appreciate the laciness and you will not get the drape um, that makes this shawl so pretty. This shawl is worked starting at one end, going up in increases along one part of a triangle, and then the main section is a small rectangle, and then we begin decreases to get you to the other point of the shawl, which is here. You can see that the shawl isn't exactly symmetrical at the end. There are some extra slip stitches here in order to close it up, um, but it, otherwise it's pretty symmetrical and this part is not very noticeable. For the pattern, what you'll see is I will be showing you a mini version of this shawl that will take you through how to do the first five rows of the repeat with increases. We'll talk briefly about the middle section with no increases, and then I'll take you through the decreasing section so you can see how to get um, to the very end or the very point of the shawl. And I've also attached these pretty little tassels here at the end. Um, and at the end of the video, I do walk you through um, a little bit on how to attach them. So to begin this pattern, we're going to start off by making a magic circle. And to do that, you're going to take the short end of the yarn and hold it over your fingers just like that, and then take the long end and drop it. And you'll have an X, which my thumb is covering, so you have a nice little X there. Now, keep, use my thumb to keep it in place. And while I keep it in place, I'm going to take my crochet hook, go through the underneath the loop, turn the crochet hook around, and then turn around and grab it just like that. Then we're going to pinch it and we're pinching it to keep it in place while we lock it with a chain or in this case a chain two, just like that. Now this short end will actually tighten my circle when I pull on it. But before I do that all the way, I'm going to go ahead and do four double crochets into my circle, just like that. Two, three double crochets, and now the last fourth one, just like that. And now we can go ahead and pull this tight. And that's it, that's how you do a magic circle. Now I'm going to chain two and turn my work. Now this, the odd number side, so side one is my wrong side, and when I flip it over, this now will be the right side of my work. Also, a couple of things about this pattern, the chain two at the beginning of the pattern never counts as a stitch, but we will be doing a chain four, and that chain four um, always counts as a stitch. Also, the first and last stitches, we're going to be doing um, increases, for the first stitches as we're going up the increasing side and the first and last stitches are also where we'll be dealing with the decreases as we go through the other end of the shawl. The last thing is that we're going to be working a lot of front loops and back loops but the first and last stitch in order to give it a nice clean edge will always be going through both loops. So let me show you that. So we're going to be going to a half double crochet roll. I'm going through both loops. Go ahead and pull through. And now remember, this is an increasing row, so I'm going to go through both loops again and go ahead and pull through for my half double crochet. Now, you can see here, let me get my tapestry needle, that on my work here, I have a front loop and a back loop. So since this is our 
right side, I'm going to be working in the back loop. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the loop in the back. Yarn over, pull through all three for my half double crochet. And then yarn over, pull through all three for the next half double crochet. And now again, we did back loops for those. Now we're going back to our last stitch. So we're going to make sure we go through both loops. And going through both loops is going to give you that really nice clean edge for the shawl. And we're going to do two because remember we're increasing in every last stitch. And now we have our second row done. We're going to chain two and move on to the third row. Remember that chain two doesn't count anything, but our first and last stitch are always going to be increases and you're going to go through both loops for those increases. So we're going to do our double crochet into both loops and we're going to do another double crochet just like that. And then we're going to go to front loops for our odd rows for our double crochet rows. So find that front loop, which is right there. I'm not going through both and I'm going to double crochet. And then again, I'm going to yarn over and double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, and then we're going to front loop, double crochet again. We have two more stitches. So front loop right through there, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, through two and then in our last one remember because we want a nice clean edge we're going to go through both loops yarn over get a little bit more yarn pull through two and then do the same thing yarn over pull through two pull through two now we're going to go ahead and work on the linked double trebles so to do that we're going to chain four one two three four and turn our work now to do the link double trebles, what we're going to do is we're going to skip the first hook on the chain and for the beginning link double treble, we're going to go ahead and go through the second chain from the hook, yarn over, pull through, you're going to keep that loop on your hook, find the second one, yarn over, pull through, and then we're going to go ahead and find the third one. And sometimes you can turn your work with just like that, yarn over, pull through. So now I have four loops on my hook. Now this is going to be an increasing stitch. So for increasing, we're going to go ahead and go through the same stitch because this is going to act, the chain four acts as our first stitch. Now we're going to be working on the second stitch for our increase. Yarn over, pull through. You have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through once, twice, three, and then four times. And that's how you do a linked double treble at the beginning. So now we're going to do a linked double treble but we're going to do them over the next two stitches. So I'm going to yarn over three times. So I have four loops on my hook and now we're going to work again in that back loop. So we're going to go into that back loop, yarn over, pull through. I have five loops on my hook, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now I'm going to just set this down for a second and get my tapestry needle. And what I want to do is show you where you're going to be going through. You're looking for the bars and those bars are going to be right here, here, and here. So there's three bars, one, two, three. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to loosen this up just so I don't lose it and I'm going to show you those bars again. So the first bar is right here, there's the second bar, and there's the third bar, just like that. So you can see the three bars right there. And those three bars are going to be where we're going to pick up a stitch for the next link double trouble. So let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and remove this from here. And go ahead and we'll get our loop back on our hook. And then we're going to find that first. Oops. Let's get it all on there. Yarn over, pull through. 
the next one. And then I will go through and then the third one. And we're going to yarn over, pull through. So now we have four loops on our hook. Now we're going to go into the next stitch, the back loop of the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. You'll have five loops on your hook. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. So there you go. That's a linked double treble. So I'm going to show you that again. So yarn over three times, four loops on your hook. Pick up that back loop. Yarn over. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. We're going to find those bars right there. So yarn over, pull through, keep the loop on your hook. Yarn over, pull through, keep that loop on your hook. And we're going to go to the last one, yarn over, pull through. You have four loops on your hook. Go ahead and go into the next stitch, pull through, and then you're going to pull through two, pull through two, Pull through two, pull through two, just like that. And that's the second link double treble. We're going to, again, do it one more time. Actually, we're going to be doing it two more times in this row. Back loop only for this. We're going to do the first part of our link double treble. And then we're going to go in. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. We're going to go into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through, just like that. And we're going to pull through all of them. And now we're going to get to the last stitch. So you should only have one stitch left at this point. And that last stitch is going to be increased, just like our first. So we're going to go ahead, do our three yarn overs. Again, because this is an end stitch, we're going to go through both loops just like that. Yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And then we're going to pick up that front bar, those three front bars, one, two, and we're going to that third loop right there. And then because this is the end stitch, we're going to go into the same loop for our increase, for our last stitch increase. So we're going to yarn over, pull through, pull through two. And that is how we do our link double trebles and the increases for this row. Now you can start to see how that working the front and back loops is giving this a really nice texture. It's optional if you find it that you're having a hard time. I think the design would still be really pretty without it, but um, if you take that extra effort, I think it does make a difference. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead, chain two, and we're gonna do our double crochet row. Now this will be the last row of the repeat, and we're gonna do the same thing until we get to the main body of the shawl, and when we get to the main body of the shawl, we'll stop doing the increases and we'll just go straight. So I'll show you that. So again, first stitch, so yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and now it's an increase, so we're gonna do another one just like that. And now this is a front loop only row because this is the wrong side, so we're gonna be working on our Double crochets just like this. Get a little bit more yarn. Remember, front loop only. And the front loop refers to the loop facing you and the back loop refers to the loop face when away from you. So when I'm here, you can see this is my front loop right there and then that is my back loop. So remember that front loop only or back loop only refers to what's facing you in that moment. So we're gonna keep double crocheting now here we have two stitches left. It looks like one stitch, but don't forget you have that chain four. So we're going to 
do a front loop only, double crochet, and then into the top of the chain four from the previous row. So find the top of that chain four. You're going to go through both loops, so make sure you also find both loops because remember we want that nice straight edge there. And we're going to go ahead and put two double crochets in there. Just like that. And so flip it over and you can see how the pattern is coming together. Okay, so now you know how to do the increasing sections. Remember two stitches in the first stitch, two stitches in the back stitch. Um, what we'll do now is I'll show you how we're going to do the main body section with no increases whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead, chain two, and this is our half double crochet row. So we're going to yarn over, half double crochet, and then our half double crochet is our back loops. And remember, no increases. So we're going to go ahead and just boom, oops, straight through and straight through, just like that. And so I'm going to finish this up, and then I'm going to repeat the double crochet row, and then I'm going to meet you back to show you how to do the link double trebles. So for the main body part of the shawl, for the link double trebles, there are no increases or decreases. So all the stitches will be worked over two, um, and the last stitch will be worked over two as well. But I wanted to show you really quickly how to do the link double trebles for the first stitch, because that one can be a little bit confusing. So I have my chain of four. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a loop in each one, just like that just like I would normally. So I have my four loops on my hook. And because this counts as the first stitch, you're gonna go ahead and move over to the second stitch. And this is a back loop. So we're gonna do the back loop, yarn over, pull through, five loops on your hook, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, just like that. So that is the link double treble using your chain four for your first stitch. So now we're going to begin the decreasing rows. To do that, I'm going to chain two and turn my work. And now we're going to do a double crochet, two together. You're going to yarn over, go through both loops because it's the first stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and you're going to have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, and now we're going to be doing, because it's double crochet, front loop only, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. Now we're going to yarn over and do just regular double crochets all the way to the end. And then I'm going to show you, we're going to do a double crochet two together for the last one. So let me finish this up and then I'll meet you back to show you how to do the double crochet two together at the end. Okay, I made it to my last two stitches and I'm going to go ahead, yarn over, front loop, yarn over, pull through for three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through two. I'm gonna keep those two loops on my hook since I'm doing a double crochet, two together. Then I'm gonna yarn over, go through both loops of that last stitch, just like that. Yarn over, pull through, pull through two, and then pull through all three. And now we're working our decreases. All right, so the next step now is we're going to chain four, and this will count as a stitch for our link double trebles. We're going to do the same thing we did before, where we're going to go through each chain and pull up a loop, just like that one, two, and three. And then we're going to, so this is going to count for our first stitch. We're going to skip the second stitch and go into the third, and this is going to be a back loop only. So we're gonna go through there, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And that's how we do a decrease. And you can kind of see how our shape is coming together. Um, I'm gonna keep working this row and then I'll show you when I get to the last three stitches how we do the double crochet at the end. I have now reached my last three stitches. So you can see there's one, two, three left and now we're gonna do the linked treble over three. So back loop, just like we would to begin any of the linked trebles. We're gonna go through all of these and then we're gonna pick up our loop. So 
we're going to go under the bars, get one, two, and three. And then we're going to skip that second stitch and go into the third stitch, both loops for the last stitch, yarn over, pull through. So that'll be the length double treble over three. So I'm going to chain two and I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to work through this row of double crochet really quickly and then I'm going to meet you back and show you how to do um, the half double crochets or at least how I did them for this pattern um, two together. Before I move on to the half double crochet rows, I'm going to show you um, one last thing about when you're working the length double treble rows um, and you're doing the double crochet row above it. When you come to these last two stitches, so you're going to put your first part of your double crochet two together in the stitch and then remember that chain four is the last stitch of the row. So you're going to go into both loops of that chain four, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. And that'll be how you do your double crochet two together for the last two stitches. We're going to turn our work and we'll chain two and we're going to do a half double crochet two together. I'm going to yarn over, pull through so that I have three loops on my hook. And then I'm going to just go right into the back loop and yarn over and pull through till I have four. Some people like to yarn over again and then go through and you have five loops, but for this particular shawl, I found that to be a little bit bulky. So we're doing this version and we're gonna yarn over and pull through all four loops. That's one stitch, two, three, four, five, and then for our last two, we're gonna do the same thing. Yarn over, pull through, go through both, and then pull through and now we'll have six stitches. We'll chain two, turn our work, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the two double crochets, um, two together so that we'll have four stitches left. So I'm gonna yarn over, go through both loops, pull through for my double crochet two together, pull through, and we're gonna do our front loops, pull through two, pull through two, and then do two normal double crochets, just like that. another double crochet and then we have our last two stitches we're going to go yarn over pull through two pull through two two loops on our hook yarn over pull through go through both loops of that last stitch pull through two and then pull through two together and now we have four stitches left so if you remember we started the shawl with four stitches and we're going to kind of end with four stitches too so i'm going to chain one and then I'm going to go through both loops, yarn over, pull through, like I would do a slip stitch, but I'm gonna do a slip stitch two together, yarn over, pull through. So now I have three loops on my hook. I'm gonna take that first loop and just pull it through just like that. I'm gonna repeat the same thing, pull through, my last stitch, pull through, and I'm gonna pull through both stitches just like that. And then I'm gonna chain one. And then I have two stitches and then we're going to slip stitch two together again. So we're going to pull through that first loop and then go through the second loop. I have three loops on my hook. I'm going to pull through and go through all three just like that. And that's going to give us um, a bind off for the end of this. So just to show you, I'm going to loosen this up and that's what your final work is going to kind of look like. You can see how the stitches have come together. You can see the ribbing. When this pattern is large and open, you'll actually be able to appreciate the, um, the edges more and blocking the shawl is very, very important. If you don't like the way the edges are looking for your particular shawl after you've blocked it or even before, feel free to follow the pattern for um, the half double crochet edging that you can do along the side. Um, it will make for a nicer, cleaner edge, but um, I think it takes away from the, the open lacy, so I left my version like this. I also wanted to show you really quickly um, on how I did the little extra 
tassel for this. So I found an old pair of earrings that I had and I took off using pliers. I just went ahead and removed the ear part and then using the extra yarn that's at the end here, I went through the hole that's there, that little hole, about two to three times. So a couple of recommendations for if you're gonna use some jewelry to do your tassels. One is that um, don't have any sharp edges or points that can catch on the yarn um, because it will snag it. The other is also going to be to um, make sure that you have something that has a little loop. That way you can feed your yarn through. Um, you don't want it to be too, too heavy or it'll be uncomfortable to wear also. So hopefully, this tutorial helped you. Um, if you liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. Also, please do subscribe. It really does help to grow the channel. Thank you and happy crocheting.